Good evening. This is Charles Collingsworth at the White House in Washington, D.C. For many of you, this will be your first visit to this historical landmark. Our tour through these hallowed halls will be conducted by the First Lady. Good evening, Charles. Good evening. Shall we begin here in the West Wing? Yes. If your cameras will just move through these oak panel doors over here on our left, we will be in the world. <laughs> was named after our 35th president. I can't help but wish your cameramen had opened the doors before they moved their heads and <laughs> The doors, incidentally, were a gift from Mrs. R.C. Greenleaf of Raleigh, North Carolina. They were made out of solid oak, and up until a few seconds ago, they stood over 15 feet high. <laughs> They were lovely. <laughs> now we are approaching the Thomas Jefferson Room, which I think you find rather interesting. President Jefferson used to come into this room and sit for hours just gazing out the window at the White House lawn. The White House lawn was a gift from Mrs. W.C. Ridgway <laughs> of Hollyhock, Virginia. The President and I decided to leave it just the way it was originally. It's lovely. This football, which has just come crashing through the thousand-dollar President McKinley French windows, belongs to the current President, who, of course, is also my husband. He's lovely. <laughs> Now we're entering the President Grant drawing room, which I think you'll find rather interesting. We decided to leave this room just the way it was when President Grant left office. I do notice a lot of dust on the furniture in here. Yes, and that dust was a gift from Mrs. Miranda of Pennsylvania. Now, if you'd care to follow me down this hall to the next room, as we go, I should like to point out the various paintings on the wall. Yes, I wish you would point them out. Well, there's this one, and this one. <laughs> and that great big one over there, and this little teeny one down here. <laughs> And finally, this one, over here. Thank you for pointing them out. <laughs> What's in this room over here? I believe we are standing in front of the President for the conference room. Oh, my golly. Oh, my golly. Oh, my golly. <laughs> it's so easy to get confused. It's such a big house. <laughs> Believe straight ahead of us is the blue room. Yes, this is the blue room. We decided to leave it just the way President Blue had it originally. <laughs> now we are in the east wing. This is the section we are having completely remodeled. All the rooms are being changed around. Yes, the carpenters certainly are busy, aren't they? Aren't they, though? And those carpenters were a gift from Mr. and Mrs. Al Bianchi of Hayworth, New Jersey. I find it quite easy to get lost in this section. Yes, I imagine one could get lost in here. Pardon me, pardon me. I seem to have uh, made the uh, wrong turn somewhere. Now, I'm trying to uh, find the bedroom I just came out of the uh, John Hancock bathroom where I was uh, taking a shower in the Alexander Hamilton bathtub. And I think the that... The carpenters and painters here have been just working like humans around the clock. Which way is he? The bedroom. The bedroom is where? Well, actually, the original bedroom didn't call for it. It's a great idea. But the work has gone on. I should like to point out that I am... I am... I am, I am standing here in my shorts, uh, dripping wet. I've got an important conference in uh, 15 minutes. So I must be dressed in uh, 10 minutes, which means I shall have to uh, move ahead uh, toward our bedroom with great vigor. Excuse me, Charles. Here, go down 
the phone to the Andrew Jackson smoking room. Then turn right into the president death room. This room, I cross over through the Woodrow Wilson ping pong room. Then left at the Dolly Madison pinnacle room. Through the president Grant drinking room. Ask the Richard Nixon dumb waiter. <laughs> That's our room. Well, let's see. Now I go past the uh, the Dolly Madison ping pong room, across the uh, Richard Nixon the drinking room, and then I go left at the Andrew Jackson. Room. Uh, wasn't that your husband? Yes, it was. He's a magnificent looking man. Yes, and we decided to leave him just to win. <laughs> Incidentally, he was a gift. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs>